I mean, y'all can't. Y'all, y'all dosed them. What the fuck you expect? Y'all, y'all feeling yourselves right now. Y'all feeling yourselves right now. Just wait, bro. What you do? Oh my god! Wait, wait. What if the girl, that girl, or Jessica Bill, what, like, what, like, what if she's coming? Fuck you. Oh! Let's go! Oh! What's good y'all welcome back to another video hey if you're new make sure you leave a like comment share subscribe turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video now today man we have blade 3 aka blade trinity man from is that 2000 i should already have this up 2004 really i did watch blade 1 and blade 2 for the ones who you know for the ones that's new to this video i watched blade 1 and blade 2 my full reactions are on my patreon if you want to go watch those the first blade i liked it i loved it I gave it a 10 out of 10. I didn't have any any flaws with it. I didn't feel like nothing was off or bad. The fighting choreography was good. The acting was good. Everything was, everything was on point. Blade 2. Oh, bro. Blade 2 was so tough. Blade 2 was so tough, bro. I feel like they upped the they upped the antics with a lot of... Uh, with a lot of... like. Really, they upped the elements a lot. You know, with the creatures and the vampires and the fighting and the acting. The choreography, you know what I'm saying? But the CGI, you could see... It was a lot of... It was, it was a little... It, I feel like it was a lot of CGI in the... the beginning of the movie and a lot of cgi at the end of the, uh, the prosthetics with the with the open mouth um vampires it was very good again i know some of y'all probably like like why would you screaming not screaming but like why would you like getting scared and covering your face when you saw that shit i told y'all bro it's just certain shit i can stomach and certain shit i can't it's just like i don't like think about that shit you know what i'm saying even though it's not real it's like some shit i can just like because just like just like for the ones that's watching this it's some people that don't like scary movies not because they're scared they just don't like it then now there are some who who don't like scary movies because it's too scary. Now me, however, I love scary movies. Nine times out of ten, I'm laughing at that shit. This wasn't even though this wasn't intended to be scary. This was more so just like like a thrill and chills, like thrills and chills type of like vibe, you know. But Blade Three, I don't know what to expect going into this. I didn't watch no trailers. I didn't I didn't look up to see who was in the movie. I didn't I didn't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to be I like to be surprised, you know. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, what's his name is Whistler. Hopefully, Whistler is in this one because he survived the last movie. Considering he survived the first one, after I thought he knocked his own block off from getting bitten. Thank you for that. It's too bad that Nissa can be in this because I really want Blade to have a love interest this time around. Like I don't, I'm tired of seeing. I don't think he cares to have one though. Yeah, I don't think Blade cares to have one. But it'd be nice to see him have one. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we finna hop into this movie, man. We finna hop into this reaction. I don't want to do too much talking. So if you guys end up liking my reaction, please like the video. It helps out a lot. It gets me pushed across the YouTube algorithm. So if you guys really want to get me out there and get my channel pushing and growing, you have to like the video. You have to like it. Comment down below what you want to see next. Hit that subscribe button. Share the video and the channel as well hit that patreon link below if you want to see the full reaction to this video once again i thank y'all to my patreoners that is subscribed that are subscribed and that's watching all my content i thank y'all i can't thank y'all enough man i love y'all so much man and for the ones that are not subscribed you if you want to see my full reactions to all my videos and shows and movies and, and, and everything i'm saying everything uncut raw unedited everything you have to hit that patreon link below man so without further ado let's get right into it Thank you. We finally get the Marvel Studios logo. Thank you. About time. Like, they didn't do that like in the last two films. I know Blade 2 came out 2002, but I'm... In the movies, Dracula wears a cape. And some old English guy always manages to... Huh? Wait. Is that Ryan Reynolds? Hold on, bro. Y'all put Deadpool in this... Bro, if y'all put Deadpool in this movie bro, early on... How did... Bro, how? Let me find out y'all put Deadpool early on in this movie, bro. <laughs> no, nigga. No. Because my first time seeing Deadpool was in X-Men Origins Wolverine. So let me find out. Y'all put Deadpool way back in Blade 3. I, oh, my. Oh, Blade and oh Blade and Deadpool? Oh, yeah, it's up now. It's up. It's up. What in the X-Men apocalypse is going on? It's funny I said that considering Ryan Reynolds is in this and Ryan Reynolds is part of the X-Men. Boy, Deadpool is part of the X-Men. It's cuneiform. It's about 4,000 years old. I, I, so why I, here? 
Bro, because I, this is the cradle of civilization. I know who that is, the girl and the and the big dude. I, I forgot their names though. Also, I wonder who the villain is in this movie. Is it a body? Oh my god! Oh my god! What is that? I don't know who that's supposed to be, but this nigga looking like a fucking Power Rangers villain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He, he it, it it does. I'm sorry. Also, I do want to say I heard people's uh, perception about this movie, and um, I don't know if I said this in the last video. I can't remember, but I'm gonna say it again if I if I did already. But if I haven't, I'm gonna say it anyways. Um, some people did have mixed reviews about Blade Three. Some some people did state that it was okay. Some some people did like it. Some people didn't like it. Some people thought it was okay. I didn't hear the same reviews. As like as the first two did, like the first two was, everyone everyone loves the fuck out those two, but the third one people people kind of be like ah that one was okay that one was but I'm not gonna go off their review I'm not gonna judge the movie based off their review and what they thought about it I'm gonna go into it I want how I feel about it because I'm not gonna I'm not the type of reactor or the type or the type of person that lets other people's opinion on a movie or or album or person or anything judge how I feel. Or like, like change how I feel, you know what I'm saying? So, I just want to throw that out there. Alright, who about to die? Oh my god! Is it... Okay, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That, it's open the scene, finna, finna be hard. Oh my god, bro. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! Ooh, try fail. Boy got a sling knife. He didn't even have that in the last two movies. That's insane. Ooh, ooh, my ooh, bro. That was hard. I forgot about that. I forgot about that charger. This nigga got nitrous in it. Hey man, nigga think he down Toretto or some shit. Hit the beer exactly. I was gonna say hit the brakes on that game. Damn, that was hard. Blade does this shit so effortlessly, bro. It's, it's like it's nothing to him. Damn, I ain't gonna lie, in a, in, a, in a real situation, you're dead, bro. Dude, he lets you take. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Not a vampire, dumb shit! Wait, what? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So, wait, so, wait, what's going on? Are these niggas cops, bro? Oh, and he just killed this nigga, too? Oh, my God. Yeah, these niggas gotta, these niggas gotta be cops, bro. Now this nigga finna, oh, my God. Because technically, Blade is a vigilante. And not a vigilante, because he's not really, like, to the world, a hero. People don't really know about Blade. Like, in his world, they don't really know that he's a hero. You know what I'm saying? They just, you know what I'm saying? But y'all know what I'm trying to say. But now, seeing that this nigga about to die, yeah, he, now he's finna be a fugitive. But why would y'all why would y'all set him up, though? For what? But nigga, you pretending to be a, a fucking vampire. You know what this nigga does. Why would you put your, your life on the line like that? Nigga, you was asking for it. Guy in the coat was shooting the other guy. Damn. Like there was a lot of blood. Thank you. That was just a taste of the mayhem. Oh, this nigga in here? Oh my god. I'm so That's mad. Because it's like, bro, he was literally doing what he always does, bro. Y'all only capture what y'all... Bro, I'm so mad right now. We didn't capture him. He allowed us to take him in. You understand? I'm gonna go in. So who is he when he... In, in, in his regular form? You shouldn't have walked me. Oh my god! The humans have a new hunter. And you'd like me to kill him, wouldn't you? Yes. Exactly, because they can't do it themselves. They're not built like that. What do you make of all of these rumors we've been hearing about vampires? If vampires existed, don't you think we would have found them by now? Hell no. Blade is a troubled individual. He is under the impression that there is a vast conspiracy of vampires. Yeah. I mean, he's there has <laughs> been. Famous. Somebody nailed us. Okay. Faces all over the papers. That's what I was see. What see? That's what I was trying to explain just now. No one knew who he was till now. Now it's not just vampires we got to worry about. We're gonna have to take on the rest of the world too. 
I just realized like they was following this nigga, so alive, the, the cops might be outside for real. Been... It looks like we got ourselves a combo meal. I don't get the whole gist of seeing a woman and a group of niggas just want to like chicky, 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 chicky. be up on her. Like I don't get the gist of it, bro. Like Ooh. you niggas is weird, bro. I keep, I keep it moving, bruh. What, you trying to wait and see if they coming to get you. I keep it moving. Oh my god! Why? Why? Nah, that's Jessica Bill, bro. Ooh! Wow. So, like, is she trying to be like the new... I guess Vampire Hunter. I hope, bro. I feel like Whist is gonna die, bro. I just feel it. Yeah, he's gonna die, bro. Come on, Whistler. I know you. I, come on. I mean, hey, at least he's going out. At least he's going out like a Gito. I give him that. Damn, dropping these, dropping these. Ah! I was about this one. Got something in his hand. Get out, Blade! Oh no! Yeah, he's definitely not coming back from that one, bro. Bro, I, I knew he was. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. It hurts, bro. I don't. Yeah, bro. I th I thought he would at least like, cause he got shot like multiple times, but he was eating them hoes. But I didn't think he. I thought he was gonna die getting shot. Then he was gonna like bleed out. Blade was gonna say like. I mean, he was gonna say his last few words to Blade and Blade, but he got away type shit, you know, the usual. Special Agents Ray Cumberland, Wilson Hale, FBI. We've been tracking you a long time. No, you haven't. First of all, you just found out about him, nigga, in this movie. Stop it. You, you, you just found out about him this week. Today. Say, how many people have you killed, Blade? 30, 40, 50? Shit, more than that. 1,182. Damn. You're a stone cold killer. And you're sick as fuck. Let's leave the diagnosis. You you a, you would try hard. Not even a try hard. You just Nay, hey, you a try hard, I'm sorry. When you drink blood, do you feel yourself becoming um, sexually aroused? Oh, pause. <laughs> I feel like I feel like he does. And I'm wondering what your relationship was like with your mother. Chill out. Chill out. Well, that man is my prisoner. Don't fuck with my thing. Don't fuck with my thing. You're supposed to be one of I had a feeling. I had a feeling, bro. Damn, even the black dude, even the brother. Y'all dosed him. What the fuck you expect? Y'all y'all feeling yourselves no, right now. Y'all feeling yourselves right now. Just wait, bro. What you do? Oh my god. Wait. Wait, what if the girl, that girl, or Jessica Bill, what like what like what if she's coming? Fuck you. Oh! Let's go! Oh, let's go, my nigga, let's go. Oh, oh hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. It's, it's regroup time. Hold on. So wait, so hold on. He's not coming in. Wait, so okay, so he is in the movie, but he's not playing. Bla I mean, Blade. He's not playing. Dare. <sighs> he, he's not playing Deadpool. No, nigga. No. Hold wait, no. We gotta run that back. Wake up, Blade. This is your rescue. Yeah, help him, bro. How you miss that? Yo, Blade for the lock in now. Yeah, lock in, Blade. He about to lock in now, nigga. Hey, Blade, uh, shoot this nigga. Uh, this big nigga. Oh, yeah. It's go time. My question is, is Ryan Reynolds working with... First of all, is he a vampire? Well, no, he's not a vampire. Duh, why the fuck? So, disregard that. Is he working with Jessica Bill's character? Is he? I need, I need to know. He probably is, but... Yes! Yeah. I'll say this though, if like if we can see Ryan Ryan Reynolds and oh she's in let's, let's go Whistler what wait wait that's her name 
what the fuck? But I'm sure I was gonna say, hopefully Wesley Snipes Blade can come back into the MCU or make an appearance in the MCU, bro. And then if and then if Ryan Reynolds can play Daredevil, who? Fuck! Deadpool while playing this character? Oh yeah, nigga. See now I can only imagine what's gonna happen. I feel like what's gonna happen in Deadpool three is what should have happened in Doctor Strange two, like Multiverse of Madness. But we 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 went through the multiverse, but we really, but we really didn't go through the multiverse. Like oh, wait, bro, y'all had they had the they Doctor Strange two had the potential to show so many cameos, bro, from other from other like characters like like again Wesley Snipes Blade. Um, Nicholas Cage's um, Ghost Rider, um, the old Fantastic Four, like who else? who else? The old Punisher, like the uh, Ben Affleck's Daredevil, like we nigga, like we had they they had the potential and they dropped it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where are you going? Where the fuck is he going? This is supposed to be a rescue. I mean, you rescued him, but now like he trying to get, but not even to help y'all niggas. Go head down. I can't shoot around corners. I can. She get Angelina Jolie. She can just. So she supposed to be Black Widow and fucking. What the hell was that? Oh. But who's supposed to be like Black Widow and um fucking Hawkeye? Bro, fucking CGI man. But that was a hard ass landing though. Bro, sit your big ass down, bro. Yeah, you're not getting up from that. If he gets up from that, bro. If he gets up from that, bro. Plot armor. Well, my name is Hamble King. And this little hellion right here is Abigail. Whistler's daughter. So that's why he called her Whistler. I wish they would have mentioned her at least like in the first one. Or the second one. At least the first one, you know. Then again, he did mention he had a daughter. My bad. He did mention that in the, in the first one. He did mention that he had a daughter in the first one. My bad. I forgot. Welcome to the Honeycomb Hideout. How do you bankroll this operation? I date a lot of older men. What? Come on, man, I'm joking. I ain't gonna lie, that, that, that's, such hey, a, that's such a Ryan Reynolds Spanish. thing to say. And consider us your reinforcements. What, you amateurs are supposed to be helping me? I mean, at least you got another black nigga on the scene. Shit, about Tom. Look at you. What is this? What is that? Fuck you. It's a joke, huh? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? You think this is a joke? I mean, he being honest, bro. The hell makes you think you know about hunting vampires? Well, just for starters, I used to be one. What happened? Past the... Has he been told? About your failure? Yes. I forgot bro was in this fucking movie. Maybe it's time I joined the game. I mean, might as well, like, you know, instead of sitting back and fucking playing house and shit. Her name is Danica Talos. And unlike typical vampires, her fangs are located in her vagina. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, 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 yeah like... Matt is her brother, Danica, up in a bar and spent the next five years playing hide-and-go-suck as her little vampire cabana boy. I would have loved to see him as a good vampire. I would have loved to see him, like... I would have loved to see him there. That would have been so tough. Dracula's only one of the names he's gone by. The Babylonians worshipped him as Dagon. And now they call him Drake. Big now they call him Drake. He was the first of his kind. The patriarch of Hominus Nocturna. So how do you kill him? The vampires were searching for him. They found him in Iraq about six months ago. And he was pissed. So it's only been six months since then? Wait, hold on. I just realized... I mean, I, remember, I know who this is, but I'm like, I feel like I've seen him somewhere. I, I just remember now. This, don't this nigga play... Um, what the fuck, this nigga? He played on Legends of Tomorrow. I, I forgot his character's name, but I but he 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 got the little fire the fire gun shit. That nigga, that's who that's supposed to be. I'm like, why that nigga look familiar? But I know now. Again, I forgot his name. To me, his counterpart is like Drax from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Nigga always joking and doesn't give a fuck. Pretty much. I said they picked the right nigga to play him though. You sell vampire merchandise. <laughs> look around. You might have a few things. He finna kill y'all niggas. We've got just about anything. Even vampire vibrators. What the fuck? What? 
You wanna kiss me, pretty boy? Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> no. Exactly. That's fatal. That's fatal. He about to kill you niggas, and that's fatal. So we kill a few hundred of them a year, big deal. There are thousands of them out there, maybe tens of thousands. Exactly. Like, you, have have a new tactic. like you haven't, you haven't like killed nearly all of them. Biological weapon? Is she blind or something? Nigga, duh, nigga. Girl just been sitting in the truck the whole time. She's making playlists. Jeez, that's, damn, that's the old iTunes. Dark core. Deep bro, that was the old. It is 2004, bro. The old iTunes, the old iPod. I wish I still had the old iPod though. No, no cap. Just for like vintage purposes. Damn. <laughs> he just smacked his neck. Head. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought he just, bro. Doctor Evans. Hello. He didn't die? Vance, you paged me. <laughs> I thought this nigga died, bro. Just for you. I'm sorry. I uh, I ate a lot of sugar today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Such a Ryan Reynolds thing to say. I love Ryan Reynolds though. It's just like that's just. I feel, like, I feel like he's like this in in real life. You know what I'm saying? Oh Jesus! It's him. Abby. It's Drake. <laughs> I can't clap loud because I know it's gonna be loud, but dog, good fucking mind fuck, bro. So he, he said it's him. I'm like, who the fuck is it? Cause I, I didn't know who that was laying on the floor. I thought, I thought the actual Vance killed somebody else. No, nigga, that's nigga, that's Drake pretending to be Vance, nigga. Just shoot him. Go ahead, Blade. Show me what you're made of. I don't think he's dead though. Ryan Reynolds ain't dead. There's no way. I don't get why the villains always run in these situations, nigga. You, nigga. I, I, clearly, you have a problem with me. Why is you running, my nigga? Face me like a man. I hate when villains do that shit in movies, bro. Niggas talk shit and then want to run. How are you able to survive in sunlight? I was just gonna ask that. If you read, they believe through me they could become daywalkers. There we go. I was just gonna say that. I must have heard hundreds of you rodents make the same claim. Each mm. one of them have tasted the end of my sword. Mm. Real shit. That baby was supposed to slip out them out, out them covers. I had a family once. Wife, two daughters. That's what I thought. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We have to the second one. At least they're honor honoring Whistler through his like daughter, you know what I'm saying? I give him that. And somehow I don't picture you teaching karate at the local Y. This nigga. You know, he got to joke about everything. He hates me, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah. You play too much, nigga. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Why do you do that? Because there's something bad inside of me. Why can't you just be nice? <laughs> I mean... Because the world isn't nice. Okay, she asked a valid question, but he just answered it validly. Got a little moonlighting, Chief? Mmm. You slow as hell. Talk. <laughs> Spill it. Like I'm saying, like you playing with me, like like come on, say, say what you gotta say. Damn. You know, you were gonna die anyways, but you would have lived a little longer if you would have just said what you had to say. You over here trying to fucking like act like you tough and shit. Like you should have just said what the fuck you had to say. And I look at you, dummy. What's behind door number one? Can't tell you. They they kill me. Nigga, kill you, motherfucker, I'll kill you. <laughs> exactly, like, 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 bro, why people like, like, why do people say that? Like, they, if I tell you they'll kill me, nigga, I'm going to kill you. What the fuck? Keep that gun up, though. What the fuck? What the fuck? Are these are these all humans? Vampires decided that hunting humans on a piecemeal basis was 
too inefficient. So y'all kidnapping humans and y'all kill your prey when you can keep them alive. You, you want to talk about sick, bro? Under optimal condition. I don't know another word that's worse than sick, bro. Do we at least get a Stanley cameo in this movie? Nobody cares about them. They're going to win. Can't you see that? Just come back. There's nothing stopping them now. It's me. Man, we'll just kill this nigga and be, and be done with it, bro. Just kill this nigga. Twenty. Damn! <laughs> hey, I don't blame you, dog. Shut down password. What is it? Harvest. Put it in. I'm saying, like, what the? She's looking at me like. My, my question is, does that kill them? Let's go. It's gonna be some shit. Who the fuck is this? Trash. Nah, that's Dracula, bro. That's Drake, bro. That's Drake. That ain't no fucking. That's that, that. That's not Whistler, bro. That's Drake, bro. You're not fooling me, bro. Blay, Blay. I need you to get back back to the facility, dog. Zoe, I want you to go and I want you to hide, okay? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. It sucks because she's blind, bro. I'm already upset that she's finna die just off of her being blind. But I'm pretty sure she knows like something's wrong. <laughs> You had the shot. Why you? You had the shot, man. You had the shot. You had the shot, and he was gonna let you shoot him. That's the crazy part. Like she had the shot the first time. Yeah. I wouldn't even move for real. I just sit there. But she's a kid, so I mean, I understand. Oh. What? Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, he didn't. Okay, he. I only. He did do damage, but not like too much damage. Okay. Okay. So he did take him. I'm gonna say, cause you can't kill Ryan Reynolds, bro. Like that's that's. What in the hell? If it works, every vampire in the immediate vicinity should die almost instantly. Blade. We need to know there's a chance a virus could destroy you too. I was thinking that too when they kept saying like that, you know, this this device is gonna take out every vampire. But I was thinking to myself the whole time, does that is it gonna affect Blade too? Even though he's half human, he's he won't die. But I'm pretty sure it will if it was to work, will it get rid of like his vampire abilities and shit? You know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking to myself. Like, does that affect him in a way? But we'll see. I feel like it I feel like it is, but we'll see. The gnome king. How oh, sweet. Tell me, child. Do you want to die? I'm not afraid. I'll go to heaven. Mm. There is no heaven. No God. No angels. I ain't trying to hear all that bullshit, man. What what you saying is cap. Yes it is. There is a God, there are angels. It, wouldn't you accept that gift? My friends are coming to kill you. Mmm, she a G. She ain't worried about none of what you talking about, bro. Yeah, cause I ain't seen him use the, the sword at all in this movie, for real. But just straight, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is true. I mean, which is fine. Oh, they getting on motorcycles? I ain't gonna lie. If she would've got on the red one, that'd've been so tough. Cause, cause, cause he got on, cause he got on. All black, so he got a black motorcycle, and she got on red and black, so if she got on a red motorcycle, that'd have been tough. Where is this tracking node of yours? It's in my left ass cheek. Sorry. It's in my right ass cheek. Dick, okay, bro. That's atomized colloidal silver. It's being pumped through the building's air conditioning system, you cock juggling thunder cunt! <laughs> That's smart. That's that's smart. It means the fat lady should be singing right about now. No. No. Nigga playing patty cake with this nigga. Hold on. Brought your toys. Okay, let's. I mean, can you take off the the chains at least too? Like 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 on my off my wrist. 
Bro, she really need the music to, 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 to go in. Ah! Ooh! Damn! <laughs> All the way. Yeah, we up for the same. I need you in the fight, big dog. Damn. In one take. Come on, dog. Get up out of here. I'll shoot that dog and keep it moving. Fuck me. Oh, hell. Oh, no. Fuck me. Oh, hell no, bruh. There's a pretty smile. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. I couldn't do it, bro. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> Idiots. Idiots. You seen my dog? Have you tried the lobby? Stupid ass. Yeah, you know what? They got a door. Yeah, box again. Two people here. Yeah, round two. I'm gonna break this shit. Ooh. But can he just fix that shit though? Exactly. Ooh, ooh! That was hard. Yeah, like it was time for him to go. Yeah, it was time for him to go. Yeah, let's like, come on, like, come on, come on. Oh my god! Nah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he really gotta fight her, cause she was talking all that shit from earlier, bro. It's like he had to fight her and the big nigga, cause they, cause they was talking real tough to him, like, a lot. Are you ready to die, motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> on one shot. He really caught that shit. <sighs> okay. He really caught that shit. <laughs> so that was to kill him and every vampire? Yes. Another yes. day. You fought with honor. I respect that. But remember this. No, everybody, no, everybody told him that. I just realized they really, really got away from that whole Blade being a wanted fugitive and all of that storyline. They got away from that real quick. It's like as soon as they left the police station, that they dropped that beep. Well, that subplot real quick. Wait, they really caught this nigga? Let's just say the FBI got their body. Just wasn't the one they were banking on. Oh, man, y'all gonna stop playing with me like that, bro. Y'all gonna stop playing with me like that. That's insane. Blade was still out there somewhere. His life was a war. And everybody knows the war never ends. Yes, yeah, why we ain't get a Stan Lee cameo? What's up with that? That was Blade Trinity from 2004. Another movie, another Marvel movie came out that same year. Spider-Man 2. Um, don't know why we didn't get a Stan Lee cameo in none of these movies. I don't understand why. Considering Blade is part of Marvel, I don't know why we didn't get a uh, Stan Lee cameo in, in neither of these movies. The end credits, I ain't gonna lie, I would have put like a montage of each character through each movie. Kind of like what Fast Five did. At the end of Fast Five, remember they showed like each character by like, doing what they, like in, in, in each movie that they was in. I would have done that, you know, for like what six stats I'd have showed him in each like for me for each Blade movie. Chris, Chris, what's his name? Chris, Christoph, Kristen Christoph. Like I would have showed him in each Blade movie. Like you know, so I'd have done that. Um, I ain't gonna lie. No, this was I ain't gonna lie. This one I get this one like a nine out of ten. I get this one a nine. I can see why people say I can see why people had mixed reviews about it because like the first two. You can tell the first two had like the same feel. I don't know. It's, it's like it, y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's like the second one had the same feel as the first one. It was just ten times, like ten times better. 
know what I'm saying? But with this one, I could see why people had mixed reviews about it, you know? But still give it a 9 out of 10, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still give it a 9. I gave the second one a 10 out of 10. The first one was 10 out of 10. This one, I give it a 9 out of 10. I feel like they was trying to go for a different different vibe or a different feel. I'm not gonna like, again, I, I still like the movie. I still like it, you know what I'm saying? Jessica Bill, again, I really, I would have had her and Ryan Reynolds become a thing by the end of the movie. You know, because I really wanted them. It was, it was, a, it was a lot of scenes where I wanted them to kiss so bad. I wanted them, to, I wanted them to kiss so bad. I was like, bro, please kiss. But they didn't. But it's all good. It's like I don't know what happened to the little girl. Like they just, it's like Jessica Bill went to go get the little girl. And after that, she was nowhere to be found. After that, um, I felt bad for the blind chick though, because it was like she really, she had the shot right there. She had the shot right there, and she didn't take it. And she second guessed herself. I understand, bro. But I understand it, and 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 in her and for her case, I understand why she didn't take that shot. But damn, I really wish she would have. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know. I didn't get the gist of the human wanting to set up Blade, knowing Blade is saving humans. So why would you want to work with vampires that that want to kill humans? Why would you want to do that to go up against Blade? Like now, look at you, nigga. You in the upper room? No, I got a front row seat to a Tupac concert. Like look at you. Like come on, bro. I really wish they would have stuck to Blade being like a the one the fugitive. I wish I, I really wish they would have stuck to that that uh, that subplot in the movie. You know, that, like that still I feel like that would have worked because some scenes they could have stuck in the cops like the cops like you know what I'm saying trying to like believe that Blade is actually out here killing innocent humans when he's supposed to be protecting the humans. He, he killing humans and you know what I'm saying I would have had like the cop, I would have showed more of the cops going after Blade honestly. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they, they that element was left out after they left the, the the police station. It's like it's like after they broke out of the police station, they just forgot. Like I forgot the cops was even in the fucking movie. It's like after that, they were just all about Blade and Dracula and and Parker Posey and her people. Like they was just all about them. I would have definitely kept the cops coming after coming after Blade and finding Blade. If you ask me, I would have brought in Whistler's daughter in the second film. You know what I'm saying? That way by the third film, her and Blade kind of already have a bond and they're kind of already familiar with each other. Even though like, it's like, the, it's like in this one, the bond kind of got, they kind of got close by like the middle of the film. But it's like, but I really, I would have brought her, I don't I don't think having Whistler having a daughter or bringing in Whistler's daughter, I don't think that was a, I don't think they had that idea. Maybe they probably had that, or maybe they did have the idea, but they decided, you know what? We have in order for the daughter to come in, Whistler would have to die. It would have been a, ooh, it would have been so cold if Nissa would have survived the second film and they would have brought her in the third one, as in her and Blade would have been a thing. That team, then that team up would have been so hard. You would have had Nissa and Jessica Bill teaming up against um, um, Parker Posey and um, whoever else would have been. It'd be like a two, it, 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 it would have been a solid two v two, bro. I mean, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. It's just certain things I would have changed about Blade, just like certain movies. I wouldn't I wouldn't have killed off I wouldn't have killed off um I wouldn't have faked killed off um Whistler. I think Whistler was supposed to die in the, originally, but then I guess the I guess the fans wanted Whistler back so they just changed the fucking story in the in the second one. That's what I think happened. I think the fans wanted around like around like the early two thousands, like the late nineties, early two thousands, the fans wanted Whistler back, so they just changed the story in the second one and said, fuck it, he actually did turn before he shot himself. No, he no he shot himself, but he still turned either way. I knew I knew in the third one he was gonna die though. It just I just knew he was gonna die because it's always like this. It's always that one character in the movie that's that's that be in the field but don't be in the field like that. And then they just helping the main character throughout the whole movie. Like their mentor, pretty much. Like their mentor is always like, you know what I'm saying? Then by the third film, the mentor dies, and now the main character is like, uh, like now they look like they're all on their, they're on their own up until like a group of new people come in and help them and save them. It's always, it's always that same. It's, it's always, it was always like that in these types of movies or like the early 2000s movies. Uh, I, don't, I think that's about it. I don't think I had nothing else to say. Again, Blade one, ten out of ten. Just don't think, don't think I would, the only thing I would change is killing off uh, Whistler. That's about it. Blade two, ten out of ten. I don't think I would change is killing off. I don't think I, I would change is killing off Nissa. I would keep her in the, in the movie and bring her in the third film. Blade three, nine out of ten. The only thing, the only thing I would change is I don't know. The villains weren't intimidating to me. Like their goal, it, it made sense, but they, again, they just wasn't. I don't know. I don't know. The last, the last, the last niggas, I, like they, I would, they were, they were more intimidating than these niggas.
I think Whistler dying off, killing killing off Whistler in this one would have made more sense because then it's like killed him. You know what I'm saying? Already, you, you know what I'm saying? It, it takes the I think him dying in the first one and coming back in the second one takes the fill away of the of, of him dying in the third one. If you guys didn't end up liking the video, please like the video. It helps out a lot. Comment down below what you want to see next. Hit that subscribe button, share the video and the channel as well, and hit that Patreon link below if you want to see the full reaction to this video. Until next time. Stay lit. Trip on me in the family.